menstruation throughout a women's life cycle her body undergoes various physiological changes one of the most significant recurring changes is the menstrual cycle which occurs monthly and prepares the body for a possible pregnancy if fertilization does not take place the uterus sheds its inner lining resulting in bleeding known as menstruation menstruation typically begins between the age of 10 and 15 marking the onset of puberty a phase known as menarche it continues throughout a woman's reproductive years and eventually ceases between the ages of 45 and 50 a phase known as menopause the first day of menstrual bleeding is considered day 1 of the menstrual cycle and the cycle length typically ranges between 28 to 30 days although slight variations are normal the female reproductive system and its role in menstruation before understanding the different phases of the menstrual cycle it is essential to have a basic understanding of the female reproductive system the key organs involved in this process include ovaries a pair of organs responsible for storing nourishing and releasing ova means eggs uterus or womb a muscular organ where a fertilized egg implants and develops into a fetus fallopian tubes a pair of tubes that connect the ovaries to the uterus providing a passage for the ovum to travel The number of ova in a girl's ovaries is predetermined before birth. Upon reaching puberty, hormonal stimulation triggers the development and release of one ovum per month, a process that continues until menopause. Phases of the menstrual cycle. The menstrual cycle is divided into four phases, each regulated by hormonal changes. menstrual phase days 1 to 5 this phase begins on the first day of menstruation the uterus sheds its thickened inner lining which was prepared for implantation but is no longer needed bleeding typically lasts 3 to 5 days though it can vary follicular phase days 1 to 13 the primary follicle in the ovary begins to mature into a graafian follicle under the influence of follicle stimulating hormone that is fsh the endometrium or uterine lining begins to regenerate and thicken the body starts preparing for a possible pregnancy ovulatory phase that is days 13 to 17 this mid cycle phase is marked by ovulation the release of a mature ovum from the ovary a surge in luteinizing hormone that is lh triggers ovulation this phase determines the fertile window the period when fertilization is most likely to occur luteal phase days 15 to 28 after ovulation the ruptured follicle transforms into the corpus luteum which secretes progesterone progesterone maintains the thickened endometrial lining in preparation for implantation If fertilization does not occur the corpus luteum degenerates progesterone levels drop and menstruation begins marking the start of a new cycle role of hormones in the menstrual cycle the menstrual cycle is regulated by hormones which are chemical messengers released by endocrine glands the key hormones involved include follicle stimulating hormone that is fsh stimulates the growth of ovarian follicles and the secretion of estrogen luteinizing hormone lh it triggers ovulation and supports the formation of the corpus luteum estrogen it stimulates the thickening of the uterine lining progesterone it maintains the endometrium for implantation hormonal regulation during the follicular phase fsh and lh levels rise stimulating follicle development and estrogen secretion around mid cycle lh surges triggering ovulation after ovulation the corpus luteum releases progesterone to maintain the uterine lining if fertilization does not occur progesterone levels decline leading to the breakdown of the uterine lining and menstruation
this cyclic hormonal interplay ensures the proper functioning of the menstrual cycle and reproductive health